Now, in the last lesson, I showed how to attach a simple single line note of a piece of text, how to associate that note with each uh, node of a tree view in our drag and drop outliner. It would be much more useful to have multi line notes, and that's what I've done here. You can see this is the TV5 uh, project, Delphi project, all the source code available for download from the Bitwise Books website. Now, if you look as I select each node here, look at the note, it changes. So I've actually got that note associated with each separate node. And I can go in, I can add some more text. You know, multiple lines of text here. And um, as I switch from node to node, that text is saved with the, with the node. So let's see how that's done by turning to the source code. Now, as before, I attach an object, a note ob, to each node when a node is added. I show that here in the add button click method. Uh, and the note ob contains a string, text, txt. The string is simply the entire contents of the rich edit box. And if I want to change the text, I just get the string from the note object of the selected node and assign the new string, the new text, from the rich edit box. There's one other thing I've done. Now, as I move from node to node, I need, let me go back to the design, I need this text to uh, change as I select the, a new node in the uh, tree view. That's this component up here. Now, the secret here is uh, found in the on change and on changing events. You can see that I've uh, added some uh, methods to handle those events. Uh, of the tree view down using here in the events palette of the object inspector. Now on change, that's this one, that occurs when the selection moves from one node to another in the tree view. Whereas on changing, now that occurs when the selection is about to move from one node to another. Now the important difference between these two events is located in the event handling methods generated by Delphi. So let's turn to the code and the event handling methods are right down at the bottom here. So there's the on changing and there's the on change methods. Now each of these is passed a T tree node argument, as you can see. Now the node that's passed to the on changing event handler is the one that's selected prior to the selection being moved. So the node that's passed to the on change event handler is the one that's selected after the selection is moved. Okay, so to implement the automatic updating of the data property, I've added this code to the tree view one changing method so that when the focus is about to be moved, away from the current node, the note associated with that node is assigned the text that's in rich edit one. The tree view one change method, meanwhile, contains this code. And that puts the text of the newly selected node into the rich edit box. So just make sure you understand this again, on changing, deals with the node that I'm about to move away from, and it assigns the text of my note to the data property of the selected node that I'm about to leave. The change method, that executes when I've selected a new node, and so I want the text associated with that node to be put into the rich edit box, so that's what I do. I get its data property, and I put the text into the rich edit box. There's still one thing missing though. I've got no way of saving the tree view with all its associated data objects, all the, all the notes. No way of saving that to disk and loading it again. With a, with a standard tree view without any data associated with the nodes, I can just use the save to file and load from file methods, but they don't work with data objects. You can see, look in my outliner here, I've had to uh, gray out the, the save and open menu items because I would just lose my my associated uh, notes. 
So how do I save the tree view and its data objects and load them back at a later date? Well, it looks as though I've got no alternative but to program that behavior myself. And so I look at how to do that in the next lesson in this course. To learn programming in depth, enroll in one of my courses or read one of my books. More information at bitwisebooks.com.